In this video, I'll quickly show you how to create a chessboard or checkerboard pattern using JavaScript. First, go to index.html and add a div with an ID of board. This div represents the entire chessboard. Then I'll go to the styles.css and add a few styles for some elements. First, I'll give a display of flex and flex direction of column to the board. This is because we are going to stack all the individual cell containers on top of one another within the board. And so flex direction of column is going to help us with that. Then I'll give style to the cell container class which I know I haven't created yet but I will soon while writing the logic. The cell container is going to be nothing but these individual rows. These individual rows are cell containers consisting of 8 cells. So because the cell container is the parent div and the individual cells within it need to be arranged in a row like fashion, I'll just give a display of flex to the cell container. Then lastly, I'll style the individual cells by giving it a width and height of 30px and a border of 1px solid black. Now let's move on to the logic part. First, let's get a reference to the board. Then the next step would be to create a for loop from 1 to 8 to create 8 rows. Then create the cell container div which represents these individual rows. I will attach it a class name of cell container created in styles.css. Then create another for loop from 1 to 8 for the number of columns within each cell container. Now each column within the cell container represents a cell. So create the cell div and give it a class name of cell, the styles of which were created in the styles.css file. Then simply append the cell within the cell container. This should add 8 cells within each cell container. Now every time 8 cells are added to each cell container, we can append the cell container containing the cells to the board. Now you can see a board with 8 rows and 8 columns. Now all that remains is to add the color. To do that, I'll add a simple logic, where if the row number is even and if the column number is even too, we make the square black. And if the column number is odd, we make the square white. And if the row number is odd, it's the other way around. In that case, if the column number is even, we make the square white. And if the column number is odd, we make the square black. And now as you can see, we get a perfectly rendered chessboard on the screen. And that's literally all you have to do to build a chessboard or checkerboard. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.